OpenAI has just released Sora as a part of their third day of the 12 days of OpenAI. It's available on both the Plus as well as the Pro subscription. Just to break this down, you're going to be able to get 50 videos per month, which equates to a thousand credits on their system, which is going to be 50 videos at 480p resolution. And this is assuming a one-to-one -one aspect ratio as well as a five second duration. On the plus tier, you'll also be able to get up to 720p resolution as well as five second video durations. Now on the pro tier, you'll be able to get up to 500 videos per month on the faster tier and you also get unlimited relax videos so what this means is you can actually generate as many videos as you want but for the relax mode you'll just have to put those prompts within a queue where they will be processed at a later time on the pro tier you'll be able to get up to 1080p resolution as well as up to 20 seconds of duration as well as five concurrent generations and also you'll be able to download without a watermark now, the other thing to know with this is you're also going to be able to add in images as well as videos. It's not just a text to video model. You'll be able to put in images that you can build off of, whether they're AI generated images or real images, or if you want to add in videos and have those videos extended or interpreted in different ways, you'll be able to remix those or be able to add videos that you already have. Once you're within the platform, there's a ton of different featured videos here. You'll see a wide variety of different types of content from vintage looking film, more creative ideas, as well as things like pieces of nature and landscapes. But you can just take a look through here. There's also some pretty interesting ones like ones within space that you could potentially imagine within some type of film as well. Within here, there's everything from nature, landscape shots, all the way through to more creative examples. You can see a number of different pieces of creative work within here. And this, as they described, is really to act as a place of inspiration. You can just scroll through here and there are a ton of really interesting ideas. If you click on any of these as well, you'll be able to see what the prompt was to generate this. And then you also have the option to edit the story, recut it, remix it, blend it, or generate a seamless loop of the video. To explore the product a bit, there's recent generations, there's featured generations, and then there are saved generations. So any that you see within here, if you were to go ahead and save them, for instance, they'll appear within here. Then you have your own personal library. You have your own videos, you have your favorites, as well as different media files that you upload. Say if you add in an image or a video, you'll be able to add those there. And then also you'll be able to organize things within folders as well. Let's just go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to say I want to have a scene of a programmer in the middle of a majestic field with mountains in the background. You have the ability to upload an image if you wanted. You also have some preset. Let's say I want to have this within a balloon world, stop motion, archival, film noir, cardboard, and paper craft. There are some presets, but you can also add these that you can later use if you want to have your own. You can add a new preset and generate one from there as well. In terms of the ratio, you can do 16, nine, one to one or nine to 16. So you can have that portrait view. You can have that one to one view or you can have the landscape view. So on the plus tier, like I mentioned, you can generate at these higher tiers. Now it will be considerably slower, the higher the resolution that you go. That's just one thing to note. Now you can go up to 10 seconds of generations on the plus tier, but you won't be able to go to anything higher than that unless you're on the pro tier. Now you can also select how many versions that you'd like to generate. And then finally, you can see how many credits that this is going to take based on the specified settings that you have here. Like I mentioned, you'll be able to get 500 credits per month. And this example here is going to be an example of what is 25 credits. Finally, you also have the ability to generate a storyboard, which I'll touch on a little later. Within here, if we go ahead and submit create video, this will just take a few moments. You'll be able to see the queue here, as well as the number of requests that you have within the queue. While different videos are generating, you can hop through the platform and generate different pieces. You're not just stuck to having one at a time. And then within your settings, there are some video tutorials, and then if you're looking at how many credits you have, they're also right within the drop down here. Overall, it's a familiar setup. Obviously, it does have a lot of similarities to how ChatGPT is set up with the prompt window and all of that, but it really is purpose built for being able to generate videos and to build out these initial ideas. One thing that I wanted to show that they had within the demonstration is the new storyboard feature. This is really neat because what you have is a familiar timeline. And on the bottom here, you have the number of seconds. And what you can do is you can generate prompts or put images within each of these tiles that you have. 
And then once you have the prompts in combination with the images of what you'd like to create, you can go ahead and click that create button and it's going to take the different pieces and there's going to be continuity throughout the scene. Maybe instead of just having one prompt and one part of the scene do a particular thing, it could be several prompts while keeping the continuity of the characters and what have you of what you want to generate. Within here, you can put images, text, as well as videos across the different tiles within the storyboard to generate the different pieces of whatever you'd like to generate. Just to give you an idea, here is an example of the prompt that I asked for. I want a scene of a programmer in the middle of a majestic field with mountains in the background. This is what it looks like. Let me know your thoughts within the comments of the video. Is this something that you think is worth the $20 or the $200 a month? Are you going to be using Sora? How will you be using Sora? And how do you think this compares to some of the other video generation models that we've seen come out over the past weeks and months? Otherwise, that's it for this one. If you found this video useful, please comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.